welcome. This is Skillet coming to you from X4 Foundations. Today we are going to be looking at three craft from the Venter Syndicate or Ven Vigor Vigor Syndicate. The first one up here is the Lux. Now the Lux. Let's just get an overview. The Lux is a small little craft. Pretty speedy, pretty quick. Now this is in the Vin uh, Vigor Syndicate colors. It's got three engines. Oddly placed, but still, you know, it's probably made of scrap, so we can't really, uh, can't really complain about it. This one does have a tracking and has a ta accelerator. Let's see the remainder of the, the kit here on this Lux. So yeah, we got the tracking, we got the top accelerator. Right now it's loaded out with heavy, smart missiles. We've got doo -doo -doo -doo, top accelerator tracking, Argon Mark III for the shield. Split Combat Mark II. So let's uh, let's see that let's see that out here in the list. So small craft, Lux, Combat Mark II, All Round Mark II. I think I'll have to double check that. Now I don't remember on that one. Mark three. We got a tracking and then a ta accelerator. Weapons actually the weapons do match up on this one. Docking long range. It might have the police, but it doesn't really matter for this. Let's see. Okay, so speed. On a Mark II, split Mark II in combat engine, we're at 513. This guy is quick. This guy is that interceptor. Let's get there. Let's pin him down. Let's hold him. Let's wait for our guys to, to come and mop up, right? You probably load this with TIE accelerators or um, plasmas, and you probably got a pretty formidable interceptor interceptor contingent. Please check your cargo really do. is secured before departure. So the Lux. He might grow on me. He might grow on me. The next one, something that we had to fight, or I had to fight, and if you're going through the the Tides of Avar storyline, you will know this is a bane of your existence. Oh my god. There are so many of these kids just flying around. It's like the orphanage didn't know what to do with them, and they just let them go. That was a bad, bad joke. Kids? Orphanages? Abandoned one? Abandoned one? Alright, so this kid, let's take a look. We've got a... Th th um... Oh my god. Thermal Disintegrator? Forgot what it was called. We got these... Wings? We got an engine? Weird little heat sinker stabilizers in the back. Another engine. So two engines, not three, like the Lux. Another thermal disintegrator right there. Let's walk through my own ship. Take a look on the inside, which it is basically the same cockpit configuration as the Lux. Let's see. Combat uh, combat three thrusters. Okay, okay. Oh, so that's a combat three thruster. What did I put for that guy? What if that is combat three? It changes stats a little bit. I, I think it's just yaw and, um, and roll. Combat mark three thrusters. Yeah, okay. So, 
Back to the kid. We'll change we'll change up the Lux to fit the right stats. So the kid. Let's take a look at this again. Combat mark one engines, combat thrusters mark three, shield generator mark three for the argon and two thermals. Okay, so let's go back to the list here. Kid, combat mark one is what you got. Combat mark three, argon, thermal, and a thermal, and your computer system is probably there. All right, so stats wise, well, let's change. Let's change the, the looks. Would all visitors please report to the medic bay for inoculation? Some stat changes. Okay. Um, so speed with the Mark One we are lacking. Uh, your hull is pretty good with the kid with three thousand. You're doing the Argon Mark Three. Your shield's the same. Charge delay is the same. What you kind of lack is in your combat performance. You do get a little more of storage and you do get another crew member now the kid would be more more favorable to the missile rather than the lux since the lux is that interceptor the kid can make his way shoot the missile and mop up really it's not it's not a bad middle of the road fighter and now for the last one is the she now this one I have not been able to capture in in game uh, I don't I haven't seen a syndicate fighter group with a she um, well I guess that's not true in in the big battle there had I have fought against the she uh, mainly because the distinctive two weapon placements which I know some of the AI will have um, lasers and it's just two lasers and it goes bzzz annoying but the she now this she is not fully kitted out if I remember right we are actually missing we're missing a shield and I know the shield it's gonna get so we'll put it into the we'll put it into the um, the stats but right now I have this one with a ta accelerator two thermals and a plasma this is a heavy fighter this is there to, to take the brunt and deal the damage. And it, it could do that. It really can. Um, if you are playing through the Vendor Syndicate storyline, you know we you have know everything that these can do. Argon flu in the sector. Would all visitors please report to the medic bay for inoculation? So the she... Mark three, I was asked to drop my cargo. We have two Argon Mark threes, and the last one's gonna be a Talati because it has that heft. It has that heft. It doesn't have the regeneration rate, but it has that heft of a shield. And then we had two thermals. The weapons might not be placed right. A ta accelerator, and then it should be plasma cannon. All right, so fully kitted. This is what the she would look like. Forty nine for the hull. Shield. You do have three slots, so it doesn't doesn't really count towards these two because you have. 4,000. These have 1,000, 1,400, 4,300. Like recharge rate. Boom. Recharge station. delay. This delay is... This delay is only so low because of the two Argon shields. The Talati really puts bumps that up. It really does. But its overall shielding is just better. We do get more weapon output because you have four slots. You do. 
Hey, you, this is that I'm dealing that damage ship. It's speed with the Mark III. Let's actually check out the kid. What would the kid be with a Mark III? 384. Mark III on the she, 342. It's, 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 it's actually pretty comparable, really. I mean, you're not too far away. You know, your stats for, you know, speed, yaw, strafe, stuff like that, they all kind of lack opposed to the Lux, because the Lux is that little interceptor, that little, <laughs> I'm going to go get him. You do get a little less in storage, which is totally fine. You still get the same. I was asked to drop my cargo. I don't, just leave, run, run away, man. Uh, you still get the same crew. Uh, the missiles are only... Uh, better on, on the Lux. Compound. Only better on the Lux because it has the missile launcher, which adds two missiles into the launcher and two on top of the storage. You know, one in the chamber kind of deal. But yeah. Now let's go in the she. Now I have not actually been in this craft yet, but its cockpit configuration looks a little different. All these wings. Oh. It is a tad bit different. She. I don't... Have a pilot? What? Where's my pilot? Where'd you go? That's weird. Has anybody else had pilots that just wandered off? Whatever. Probably come back. So the she. Let's just undock this for a second. Actually, I... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not too... I actually kind of like those placements with the the thermals, the plasma, and then the ta, because we got quick firing uh, on either side, and you have that heavy hitter right in the middle. However, you know, thinking the bison lance, actually on the luxes, the bison lance probably would just devastate. It's like top tier out of system. See this guy. I do like it. He's very unique, and that's what I really like about the new, um, the new DLC. Yes, the ships are unique. Like it is junk. Like you know, this came from junk, scrap. That's what this is. You can you can see it. I piece this together. <laughs> Oh, God. What a pilot junk. Okay. Well, let's take it for its pace. Um. Right? Jesus. Container. Can you not just get in here? Dunk. 
great. Okay, where? M. He's gonna be coming this way. What is that box? Basic some. Oh, I want that. Cool ships in X3. The T was. Okay, and now let's Container. actually go for that real quick. He'll probably get on my butt, which is totally fine. We have the shielding. We have we have the heft. Don't you come for that. Container. All right. So this ship. Let's actually find out if my pilot's in here or not. Oh, I do got him. Awesome. Hello. So the she. Pretty she. nice. And once we get where are you? Once we get you. Hitted with a Talati shield, your shielding is just going to be even more stronger. And it can withstand a whole lot more. Now, how actually effective are these for. Four energy cells and 257 hull parts. Which doesn't seem that bad. What is the pulsar? Okay, which is one of the combat ships that we do have in our fleet. Along with, well, let's let's take a look at the Nodan. Nodan's just super cheap. Super cheap. Docking soon. Yeah, that Nodan's super cheap. The other thing that we have in our fleet... Let's just wait for it to load. It's great. I love loading. Or auto-saving. Awesome. Okay, so the other uh, combat ship in the fleet is the Asp. It is... Wow. Actually, if you want to build the she on your own, it's super close to the asp. Its traits aren't going to be the same, but your hull... Your hull is a little more. It's ten tons worth of mass. The sheet. You know what? Maybe we'll do that. I am going to be building a uh, a wharf at one point. I'm gonna attach it to the the HQ. Um, oh, then I'll have to put. No, I'm not gonna attach it to the HQ. Uh, I'll make the HQ like a storage facility or something like that. But we will get into that. But these were the three craft that were added. I do hope you'll like them. I like them. 
I think they're really cool. But this is going to be Skillet signing out. I'll see you guys next time.